What's up, y'all? What's going on? Today we're going to be working on a 2013 Nissan Rogue. So today's project, we're going to be replacing the driver's side, left side, side mirror. For this project, you will need a flathead screwdriver, a socket wrench, a 10 millimeter socket, short or uh, deep socket, and a power tool. Now these are just ideas that I'm going to be using. You can use different tools or tools that you have on hand. But this is what I'm using. So in this box we have the new part to replace that left driver's side side mirror. And this one's electrical powered. So let's open it up, shall we? Let's look inside and see what we have here. So every time you buy the, a new side mirror, it's gonna have the cover, okay, to the side mirror. And then you're gonna have the side mirror inside a bag, like so, in the package. Just like that. So the reason why they have this not attached is because with this part, this part is the painted part of the side mirror. So before you install it, of course you want to, if the customer doesn't mind or you don't mind for it to be just black, then you can just snap it on and just go on with it. But if you want it painted to the color matching to the vehicle, then you want to paint this and you go ahead and install the mirror and then once you get the mirror on, once you get this painted, then you can slap it on afterwards. So that's what this is here. Okay? Now, with the side mirror, okay, here's the power connection. And then in shipping or package, they'll have these rubber pieces for the corners edge so it doesn't get dam damaged in uh, shipping or whatever. And right here are the three, three bolts here that uh, go in line with the uh, door and that's where you will be bolting, mounting this mirror onto the door and it will be a 10 millimeter bolt. Uh, unfortunately it doesn't come with the bolt so when you uh, remove the old mirror you must save the nut, I'm sorry, not bolt. These are bolts, the other ones are nut. Once you remove the nut, you must save them because the new mirror will not come with the nut. So make sure you save the nut. And it's gonna be a 10 millimeter. All right, so let's go ahead and install this. And then I will paint this later and install that. Uh, probably won't make a video on that, but I will once I get the mirror on there, I will sh give a demonstration of how just to snap it on. All right. So once you open the door, okay, um, you will run the cable through this hole here, this bigger square hole, uh, and then it will run down the panel. And you will see right there is the connection where the mirror will plug into. So on the driver's side, when you uh, slide the mirror on, there is three bolts that's gonna slide into place and it's gonna be here, here, and here. And once you slide that in, on the reverse side, the inner side, you have three bolts. I mean three nuts. These are the nuts and they're 10 millimeter. And then that's what's going to uh, hold the mirror onto the door. So we have the new mirror. What we're going to do is remove this corner protector. Okay. So first thing you want to do is this cable here needs to run into that square. So slide that in. Slide 
slide your mirror into place. Like so. And then go ahead and put a, screw, uh, a nut to hold it in place. So if you can see, this is where the bolts run into and those are where we're going to put the 10 millimeter nuts on and then on for the cable we're going to run down and connect it where I showed you at the beginning of where the connection is. down in there so I'm gonna connect it and then uh, I'll try to show the video of me connecting it so I have the cable there and I'm gonna connect it And once you hear a snap, then it's connected. So we're going to install the nut onto the bolt so it can mount the mirror onto the door and like I said it's going to be a 10 millimeter so I'm use a 10 millimeter to tighten in the bolt nut And you just want it snug, you don't want it too tight. Because these nut, these bolts that are um, installed into the mirror are held on just by plastic. So if you over tighten it, uh, you might damage or loosen up the bolt that's holding the, uh, the mirror. And you don't want to do that. All right, so when removing this mirror, there's a cover right here that I'm about to show y'all. You need to pop that cover off to access these three bolts and nut. And be before removing the mirror, removing the bolts and nuts, you, you must disconnect the harness powering source to the mirror and then once you remove the three bolts and nuts then you can remove the mirror that's removal installing slap the new mirror on put the nuts on screw it on install the uh, power source this harness cable and then the cover That will look like this. It has three clips. One, two, three. And it will slide in downwards like so. And it will clip onto the inner part of this door. Now, to pop this out, you can either remove the door panel or you can pop the door panel slightly out and slide it 
when removing slide it out or to re, uh, re, uh, install slide it in okay so again I already pulled this out and we're, we're gonna put it in so we're gonna pull the door panel out and slightly slide it in and make sure you don't want to damage anything as you're doing this okay so now we're gonna pop this cover in place And then with the door panel, it has the same type of clip. You want to just pop it in, just kind of snap it in and everything is in place. So there you have it with the inner part. Like I said, when you want to remove this, you want to pull this panel out or remove the panel. And then you want to pop this cover off before removing. To install it, it's the opposite way. But this door panel is in the way that you need to either pry it open or take the panel completely off. Now that we've installed the side mirror, what we want to do is test and make sure the mirror moves. As you can see, the, move, the mirror goes up and down, side to side, so the replacement is a success. So last but not least, the cover that goes in the back of this. As I mentioned, it comes with a cover here, okay, but this part is usually when you order a new one, you either order painted or unpainted. 80% of the time, well, it depends on what you, what you order. Make sure when you order, they're going to come unpainted. So you would have to get it painted. Or if you don't mind being in straight black, and a lot of people don't mind, then you can just keep it on, uh, black. But we would have to paint this to match the vehicle color. And then after that, put it on and it will snap on okay now for this case we're going to leave it off because I'm going to get I'm going to paint this and then snap it on later so that's pretty much it to this video that's the install and uh, removal uh, instruction of how to replace a side mirror this is the driver side. The passenger side will be exactly the same way for a Nissan Rogue, a 2013 model. Thank you. If the video has been helpful, like it. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe.